That was the Manchester United End of Season Player Awards last night. Who was named the Jimmy Murphy Academy Young Player of the Year? Denzel Haroon, Reserves. Who won the Players Player of the Year? The Goal of the Year. And the ultimate prize, the Samat Busby Player of the Year. Here is a rundown of who won and a little bit of information about it. Now this year's Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year was Angel Gomez, the youngest ever winner of the award at 16 years and nine months. The second youngest was Mats Molodali. Unfortunately, it never worked out for Dali, but there is some serious hope about Gomez, who is one hell of a prospect. In his first full season with the under-18s this year, Angel Gomez, in 19 starts, 12 goals and 6 assists. Operates mainly as a number 10, but he's more than capable and fluid enough to move across all the attacking positions. Now, Gomez, everybody's had their eye on him for a long, long time. He may only be 16, but he's always played in the age group above him. He's one hell of a prospect, and so maybe in two, three years' time, we'll see him breaking into the first team, and he's definitely, definitely one to watch for the future. Now, the Denzel Haroon Reserves Player of the Year went to Axel Tuanzebe. We've all seen him break through, made his debut against Arsenal, was good against Spurs, and was pretty confident against Southampton as well. He's one heck of a defensive prospect. For me, the best defensive prospect we have at the club. I know Timothy fosu Mensah is there as well, but I see him being moulded into a defensive midfielder when the time is right, or maybe a right back. But as a centre back, Tuan Zeve is excellent. Captain the under-18s alongside Roe Sean Williams, who is another excellent prospect coming through. But for me, Tuan Zeve looks like he's got the whole package. He's got the right attitude, the right persona. Didn't look phased at all when he was thrown in at the deep end against Arsenal. Probably our best player on the day there. And when you hear him speak, he just, you can see his leadership qualities. You know, I'm really excited to see Tuan Zebe. He's come through and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does in the squad next year. But he has been named the Reserves Player of the Year. Well done, Axel. Now, the Players Player of the Year goes to Antonio Valencia. Five years ago, he won the same award as a right winger. This year, he's won the award as a right back. Incredible ability from Antonio Valencia to mould himself into a new type of player. He was outstanding in that 2011-12 season when he won some at Busby Player of the Year as well. His crosses into Rooney, just pinging him in. He got so many assists. But that horror leg break against Rangers raised question marks about whether he was, he was done as a professional footballer. But not only wasn't he done, he changed himself. He remoulded himself into a new player, into a right-back. This modern-day right-back that used to be a winger but becomes a right-back. And this year under Jose Mourinho, he's arguably been the best right back in the Premier League. Outstanding performances from him all season long. And his ability to overcome his problems and his issues with his injuries is incredible. One hell of a work ethic from Antonio Valencia. One hell of an approach from him. Never say die. I suppose he embodies United in that respect. Absolutely deserved that he won this award this year. So well done to you, Tony. And I can't wait to see you next year either. Now, the winner of the biggest award of the night, the Samat Busby Player of the Year, Ander Herrera. Everybody's favourite little Basque magician midfielder. I can't lie, I just feel like I want to gush about Herrera because he, he gets United. He really does. He looks like he plays for the shirt. Maybe it's the Basque in him, because obviously when you play for Bilbao, you're from the Bilbao region, you're loyal to the shirt. And for me... Herrera has all the hallmarks of a loyal player. For me, he's a future captain of Manchester United. Ever since Liverpool away when I saw that performance where he, he just stepped it up a level in a game he knew mattered to the fans so much. And he hasn't let that slip. Same in Man City, same with Chelsea against Hazard. Herrera has been one of the most improved players under Jose Mourinho in this new defensive midfield role. It's, made, it's helped him break into the Spain national team. He's now one of the first names on our team sheet. We are a different looking midfield when we don't have Ander Herrera there. He gets what it means to play for United. The fans love him. He loves the fans. He loves playing for United. And I'm absolutely delighted that he has been named Samat Busby Player of the Year. So that's it for a run through of who won what at the end of year player awards. Henry Mkhitaryan also won gold of the season for his scorpion kick against Sunderland. Incredible goal. So fair play to you, Henrik. Might not have been an incredible season from you, but you've certainly had moments of magic. Do you think other players should have won the awards? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for the summary. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Why would you be new? You've obviously subscribed already. But if you're new, 
subscribe below. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.